Ibrahim Traore, the youngest president of Burkina Faso at the age of 35, raised concerns about African leaders' dependency on aid during his address at the Russia-Africa summit held in St. Petersburg. Traore, who assumed power through a coup, acknowledged Russian President Vladimir Putin for his initiative to provide free grains to African nations. He stressed the importance of Africa attaining self-sufficiency in food production before the next summit. In his speech, Traore criticized African leaders for their perceived subservience to Western nations. He accused them of blindly adhering to the directives of Western governments and international financial institutions, expressing his discontent. He argued that this compliance was obstructing Africa's path to genuine independence and perpetuating the continent's impoverishment. You can hear his speech delivered during the summit. The questions that my generation se pose are the following, if I can resume. resumer. C'est de ne pas comprendre comment l'Afrique, avec tant de richesses sur notre sol, avec une nature généreuse, de l'eau, du soleil, en abondance, l'Afrique est aujourd'hui le continent le plus pauvre. L'Afrique est un continent affamé. Et comment se fait-il que les chefs d'État traversent donc le monde à mendier Voici des questions que nous nous posons et que nous n'avons pas de réponse jusque-là. Nous avons l'occasion de tisser de nouvelles relations. Et j'espère que ces relations puissent être les meilleures pour donner un meilleur avenir à nos peuples. Pour ce qui concerne le Burkina Faso, aujourd'hui nous sommes confrontés depuis plus de huit ans à la forme de manifestation la plus barbare, la plus violente du néocolonialisme, de l'impérialisme. Who is Captain President Ibrahim Traoré? On September 30th, 2022, Captain Ibrahim Traoré orchestrated a military coup in Burkina Faso, toppling the government led by Paul Henry Sander Ogudamaba. By October 21, 2022, Traoré had taken the oath as the transitional president and head of state of Burkina Faso. Additionally, he assumed the position of Supreme Chief of the Burkina Bi Armed Forces. He holds the distinction of being the world's youngest head of state. Born in 1988 in Duki, Burkina Faso, Traoré completed his primary education in his hometown and pursued secondary schooling in Bobo Dayolasso, the country's second largest city. In 2006, he enrolled at the University of Ouagadougou, graduating with honors in 2009. Later that year, Traoré enlisted in the Burkina Bi Army, where he swiftly impressed his superiors and subsequently received anti-aircraft training in Morocco. By 2014, he had risen to the rank of lieutenant. In 2018, Traoré joined the United Nations peacekeeping forces in northern Mali, engaging in numerous counterinsurgency operations against militant Islamists and ethnic insurgents. His courageous actions during these encounters earned commendation from his higher-ups. Captain Traoré rallied his fellow soldiers and led a successful coup against Paul Henry Damaba, carried out within the confines of Damaba's residence. Traoré demanded Damaba's resignation during this operation. Following the coup's success, Captain Traoré reportedly conveyed to government officials, I recognize that I am younger than many of you present. We didn't seek out this situation, but we felt compelled. President Ibrahim Traoré's speech at the Russia-Africa summit has garnered widespread acclaim from across the continent and has rapidly earned him a multitude of admirers. It's truly perplexing that despite Africa's abundant natural resources, the region continues to grapple with poverty to the extent of relying on foreign aid. This paradox can be attributed to a complex interplay of historical factors encompassing colonial exploitation, inadequate infrastructure, mounting debt, and trade barriers that hinder economic exchanges. President Traoré also addresses the irony of African leaders seeking foreign assistance from the Western world, even though their countries possess abundant natural wealth. By voicing the frustrations and long-standing questions of many Africans, he has resonated as a spokesperson for change and a catalyst for challenging the established norms within African leadership. As a young leader, Traoré's strength lies in his capacity to connect with the aspirations of Africa's youth, constituting about 40% of the continent's population. Numerous young Africans are eager to align themselves with leaders capable of introducing fresh and innovative approaches to governance and confronting enduring challenges. 
Chowri's youthful perspective fosters a sense of relatability and evokes the memory of Thomas Sankara, a charismatic anti-colonialist whose brief leadership in Burkina Faso left an indelible mark with his revolutionary socio-economic and political vision, including a rejection of Western economic and political influences on his West African nation. Thank you for tuning in, and farewell for now. Thank you.